It began as a simple safety test. On April 26, 1986, at 1.23 a.m., engineers at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine decided to see how long their reactors could run on backup power. But what was meant to be a harmless experiment became the most catastrophic nuclear disaster in human history. Within seconds, reactor no. 4. Exploded ripping through concrete and steel, releasing more radiation than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. The shockwave blasted open the sky, and a fireball of radioactive dust rained down across Europe. Firefighters arrived, first brave men who had no idea they were walking into death. Their skin began to burn through their suits. Metal melted under their boots. The air was poison. Within hours, many would be dead. The nearby city of Pripyat was evacuated, but it was already too late. Birds fell from the sky, animals fled in chaos, and an eerie blue glow illuminated the reactor a deadly dance of pure radiation. Beneath the ruins, a new monster was born. The elephant's foot. A molten mass of uranium and graphite that s still so radioactive it can kill a person in minutes. It looks almost alive oozing, hardened like lava, humming with invisible death. Decades later, the region remains uninhabitable. Forests have reclaimed the ruins. Wild animals roam through ghostly streets. And the silence feels unnatural like the world itself is holding its breath. Chernobyl wasn't just an accident. It was a moment when human arrogance pushed too far. And nature pushed back.